This tutorial is on the Trigger Charts Simulator. And what we're gonna do is take you through some of the important features, get you a little bit more acclimated to some of the important things that you need to know, and also give you a couple of areas that you can have for further research and review of exactly what this does. Now, the first thing is that Simulator is identical to the Autopilot, which is also from Trigger Charts on the TradeStation App Store. And basically, the, the only thing you'll notice is that there's a limited number of securities that you can actually utilize inside of here. And in fact, if you look over to the left side of the screen where we're showing you the workspace for the simulator, you'll find that there are a list of securities that you can utilize, some futures and some stocks, that will give you a nice taste. You could do it on a daily, on a weekly, you could do it on a 60-minute chart, whatever you want. And, and there's a lot of settings that you can work with or work with the defaults. Now, the first thing I want to show you is actually how you can turn on and off this tutorial. The tutorial will pop up every time you start the system and every time you change your symbol. So if you do want to turn this off, all you have to do is right click and then bring up the format indicator and format the TC tutorial simulator and simply click off. Type in off and you'll be fine. And if you ever want to bring it back up again, all you have to do is type in the word on and it will bring the tutorial back up if you want to review things and research whatever it may be. Now in terms of the the simulator, really what you're getting here is an algorithm that provides you buy and sell signals, short, long, and what you could do is utilize this with some of the other indicators we have, like the altimeter and the radar, or as a standalone. What you're seeing in front of you right now is essentially what you're going to find on any stock. What you're going to find is that on a stock or a future, you're going to see that you're going to have a variety of these bars that will show different colors. So the, the green bars you're going to have on this, you're going to see that are essentially buys. The red is a short. The grays that you see here are no positions held at all. The yellows are initiation alerts saying this is about to enter into a long bias, a long position on the bar close, but you can always enter in beforehand so it gives you an advanced warning of what is going on so that you know. And then also the orange, you'll see a lot of oranges here, and these oranges are your profit watch profit targets where you will exit a position because it's reaching the exhaustion point and the end of the target. So essentially what would have happened here is you would have gone into this position this is right now we're looking at the IWM, the small cap Russell ETF. And you would have entered the position at about 92 and a half back in uh, April, May. And you would have tracked it all the way up and exited when the orange came up, which will then preserve your profits. Now, magenta is a stop. Now, depending on how you have it set up with your stops, and uh, with your profit watch settings, and it also depends on how aggressive you want to be, and that's up to you, you will find that this will give you the opportunity to get out of a position before it moves against you. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can actually utilize these stops. So I'm going to bring up uh, the format analysis technique again and show you the things that are available for you. So. What you see here is the list of potential options you have when it comes to the simulator or the autopilot. First, you have the minimum signal. You want to know what is the strength of the signal that you will use in order to figure out, well, is this algorithm going to go in or out? We use a two, which is a medium signal, which would bring in a lot more trades than, let's say, if you went only to a strong signal. So it goes one, two, or three. Now, the RSI length, it sets the look-back period for the momentum oscillator that we use where the swing trades are derived. So we're looking back in this one, seven bars. Okay? Now, the radar scope 
is also something what you want to look at, which is it sets the number of bars of data used to create the parameters for what we call the altimeter profile, which is embedded inside of here. And the radar's back is how many actual swings entirely do we want to look back over a period to see, okay, give me the back data and let me then uh, look at what is the predictions and the forward look of what's happening. So basically, these are the faults that you're looking at right now. What we're finding is, of course, that you can say, okay, well, well, we can have a stronger indicator or a, a weaker one. We can then say, well, what length of period do we want to look back and figure out that we're going to find where the actual volume at, at any given time and price is. And the same thing with the scope of the radar and the radar's back. Now, we utilize these as the core basic defaults. You could choose a variety of them and you could do things like test out on different securities, which works better. The threshold is essentially the compression threshold when we're looking and searching for breakout and breakdown opportunities. If you set it very thin, let's say 70%, what's going to happen there is it's going to try to find where there's a real harsh compression compared to the previous levels and ranges of the movement in between a, a consolidation pattern and you'll have a you know fewer trades potentially now the next thing is you want to look at either long trades or short trades so here we have the opportunity to look at okay only long trades what i would do is i would simply just go here and i would type in false and uh, i would say okay well that's only going to show me long trades now so if we actually look at that right now you can see that only green comes up. There's no reds that come up at all inside of here. So when we look at this and we say, okay, we only want to look at the actual, uh, you know, the, the actual long trades only. And we say, okay, well, here we entered and we drove it up here and we entered again here. And it kind of bobbled around. We got stopped out here, again, depending on your settings. And uh, entered here again. Then we got a profit out there. We entered, took the profit, entered took the profit, entered, took the profit. So we're just looking at really three colors in this circumstance here for entries and exits. The other thing that you want to know, let's bring that back up for a moment, and we're going to format this analysis technique one more time, is that we have this usually set to zeros. And I can show you the difference here. We set this to zero for, stop, uh, for the stop percent and the profit watch. Now, the stop is important, but the profit watch is really the one you want to be careful about because with the profit watch, it will say, how much does this stock have to move before I'm going to invoke my stop? So if you put that at, let's say, 1%, that stock has to break out and or break down at least 1% beyond the level of the signal indication before you're going to get a, a stop. If you put it at zero, you're really never going to lose money, but it may have a lot more trades. For stocks, you may want to try something like 0.25 on the profit watch and see what happens. That's usually something that gives it enough breathing room to move, depending on the volatility of the stock. And finally, you're going to have a stop on touch or a stop uh, on close. So if it touches it but bounces back up, are you going to be stopped out? Or does it have to pass through there and close at that level? And that's a true or false. So we'll set this back to zero. Keep it everywhere, everything that it is here. We'll leave the this back to true and we'll take a look at what that looks like now you can go through the various stocks and see what they look like and uh, of course this is on a daily see what happens on a daily basis well let's switch this over to let's say a 60 minute chart well a 60 minute chart you can see obviously is a, a much different look to this we'll kind of zoom in a little bit and there's a lot more volatility here course there is on a, on a 60 minute chart there's obviously more volatility than on a daily in terms of the amount of bars and you can see here again once again I'll just kind of point out the areas where you would have entered you would enter the long you would have closed your position on the orange when it confirmed you would have entered a long nothing really happened we closed the position here enter a long right here and we would have closed the position up here and uh, here again, we entered a short position. You can see how the bar was moving below. This is your, see this right here? The hard to see maybe, but the purple and the green, that's your profit watches and your, your stop levels. And uh, that was a no gain, no loss. Went short and we covered it there. 
And then finally, went long and closed it here. So essentially, there was, uh, if you just look at this particular chart, there was uh, about six or seven different trades. Uh, most of them were profitable, and none of them were really any money losers on this. And again, you can just click through here, and you can look at corn. Uh, corn was, uh, you can take a look at this here. This, again, randomly pulling these up is uh, you can start here that you went short, and it stopped out here. Uh, it went short, and you would have stopped out somewhere around here. Uh, went long, you got all the way up to this point here. Long, out, long. And then what happened here is, if you look at this very carefully, it went long, you stopped out. There's a little, if you could take a look at that, there's a little, let's see if I can bring this up a little bit more here so you can see this, a little dash. You see that dash right there? There's a dash that shows you where the position would have actually entered. So you went from a long you swept it around to a short, and then you covered it. And the it looks like the long, there was no gain or loss, but on the short, you made some profits on it. And then right now, according to this, you are in no position because you're gray. Now, what you could also do is you could simply go over to, uh, bring, bring this over, you could bring over to uh, trigger charts, and you could see that, uh, let's bring this over here. Okay. Uh, you go over to trigger charts, and you can see that we. Uh, if you go, if you go there, you can actually see that you have the opportunity to um, get a a simple review over there, or you can go over to uh, the TradeStation strategy or the App Store and actually download the user guide and use the one for autopilot. That's the one that you really want to use because it gives you all the different things you need to do for this. And let me bring this back up here. Um, and, you know, basically it gives you everything you need to know. So uh, that's pretty much for the tutorial on Simulator. If you have any questions, of course, go to TriggerCharts.com. And there's lots of information there for you to take a look at and to utilize and to help you with your educational process.